Hi guys, it's me Ryan, making videos about gameplay, product review, and how to's. I post three videos minimum each week. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. So you just got your new monitor and you're so excited that you just unboxed it and you set it up and you're ready to make some gameplay. But a monitor is not like a keyboard. It is not a plug and play device. There are something that we need to do in order to get the best performance out of it and to make sure that you have the best monitor. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how you properly to set up your new monitor. The first thing after you unbox your monitor what you want to do is for any monitor that is above 60 fps you want to have a display cable so for example you you just bought a 144 hertz monitor but you connect it with your hdmi cable guess what you won't get 144 fps instead you only get 60 fps okay so that's the first thing you want to do make sure to get display cable and after you connect the, your monitor to your pc with the display cable the next thing you want to do is make sure you have the best quality of the monitor what i mean by that is the most important component in a monitor is pixels okay, there are lots of pixels in your monitor on the screen so you want to make sure every single one of your pixels is working how can we check that we go to this website that's called uh, LCD Tech. Okay, I'll have the link in the description below so you can check that out. So first, let me show you what is a dead pixel look like, okay? It is something like this. So on your screen, there's a, a black dot. You think it's a dust? No, it's a dead pixel. It will not display any pictures that you want to. We will want to look for that after you got your new monitor. So back to the website, you just want to hit start the test and then it's going to show you a white screen on your monitor so what you're gonna do now is look for the black any spot that has black or any spot that not display the white color that might be a dead pixel so you click your mouse button go to the next color which is black now you look for white dots same thing next one red you want to look for something that is not red and then green and blue and white again so after you make sure you don't have any dead pixels you just want to hit escape two times and then you exist it okay so that's the first thing you want to make sure that you don't have a dead pixel on your monitor and then after this process we go to the next step which is also important so the next thing you want to do is to make sure that your monitor will deliver the best performance as it can which is the refresh rate so we go to your desktop and then right click then we go to display settings and then scroll down and then we go to advanced display settings here you want to choose display adapter properties for display one and then you want to click monitor and then under monitor settings screen refresh rate you want to click this one and make sure the highest is selected for example you're buying a 144 hertz you should be able to see 144 hertz as your highest and in my case i have a 240 hertz then I can see 240 hertz with the display cord. Remember that. Always use your display cord or display cable. Otherwise, you cannot see above 60. I'll say 99% of the time, you plug in your new monitor, the default refresh rate is gonna be 60. So you don't come here and then change it. You are playing at 60 FPS, but you pay for 144 hertz. So you wanna make sure that you choose the correct refresh rate according to whatever you buy. So after that, you just click apply and okay. Next thing you wanna do, it is the technology that is called a G Sync or FreeSync from AMD or NVIDIA. What this thing is going to do is help you to eliminating the tear on your screen. So there's no tearing. If you have NVIDIA control panel like I do, then please just right click on your desktop and then choose NVIDIA control panel. And if you're an AMD user, I think there's some program is similar like this. This is very simple. It just all the same method. So you want to go to this control panel. So since we're here, we can double make sure the resolutions and refresh rate. So we want to click change resolution and then make sure the PC, the resolution is at highest and then your refresh rate is at highest too. And next, you just go to your G-Sync. So in AMD is gonna be FreeSync. So you want to make sure that you enable G-Sync 
and you can choose either one. In my case, I only choose enable for full screen mode because I don't play anything on Windows and I don't think I need it well, well browser. So I choose to enable for full screen mode. And also you enable settings for the select display mode. So after that, you just hit apply. And the next thing you want to do is go to your monitor control panel. And then you want to look for something like FreeSync or G-Sync. Like mine has FreeSync. So you want to make sure it is on. And also you have respawn time. So you want to choose whatever that's the fastest. After that, all other stuff is going to be personal preference. It's all about brightness, contrast, aspect ratio, input color, and sharpness, and all that. And lastly, which is the most important step to set up your monitor properly is subscribe the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so that is pretty much everything for this video. And I hope I help you properly set up your monitor. As always, please be safe and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.